Welcome Columbia High School to another student update. Today is December 5th, 2020 and woo, we have just finished our SAT testing um, on Saturday, which was awesome. Uh, we, that's our second one after the one we did on November 27th. And I wanna thank our superintendent, um, our incredible teacher coordinators, um, Mr. Matthew Enlick, Miss um, Kristen Barber, and also uh, Miss Ballasone helped us out. So many of our teachers were there as um, proctors, and thank you all so much. And I'm looking forward to March, and hopefully, all will need our number two pencils and um, a calculator. So. What's going on for the rest of the week? We start school on the 7th and that will be an A day on Monday. On Monday through, I believe, Thursday, we have senior portrait retake for yearbooks and that will be um, starting in the afternoon at one o'clock. So make sure you went to that Laura's website and scheduled yourself for um, your yearbook retakes if you need it. Um, but again, Monday is an A day. B day will be on Wednesday, right, the 9th, because on um, Tuesday, we're going to have a half day um, for you. It's going to be a asynchronous day or a C day, if you will. So what you'll do is obviously the work that your teachers have assigned, but the teachers are also available in the morning. So if you're really, you know, want to talk to a teacher after your first marking period, and now that we're almost halfway through the second marking period, make sure you do and reach out to that teacher to maybe schedule uh, some review or some help, a conference during the morning of Tuesday the 8th. But that's what we have next week. Uh, you'll see um, pretty quiet, uh, two A days, two B days, and a synchronous day. Okay. So we've been talking over the last couple of weeks about some of the stress that we're that we're dealing with. And I think the student council may have come to the rescue uh, to really engage us and to have be able to show some school spirit, if you will. So we have Spirit Week Bingo, and we thank the student council for putting this together. You'll see on Canvas starting tonight, there's a whole explanation. But if you fill out that bingo board, and you respond by uh, some prompts and tagging the um, Columbia High School Student Council on Instagram, and you can see how to follow it. I'm not really sure how to, but it's at up there. Um, you can uh, win $50, an Amazon gift card, which is great for the holidays. So it would be awesome if you can show some spirit and there are two ways to do it and it's all the instructions are on the link that we sent you. All you have to do is also click on that star um, and you'll be able um, to get the information that's needed. All right, so please, it's gonna be awesome. It's, there's, you know, take a picture of yourself with some self care, uh, trying a new look, uh, showing off your favorite artwork, um, you know, uh, showing off your Columbia High School gear. All of these are things that you can do to show some school spirit and fill out uh, that bingo card. Um, so we thank the student council for doing that for us. For the next couple slides, we have some opportunities for you throughout this week and the next that you can take part of in addition to school. Uh, the Teen Life Conference is hosted um, in partnership with Planned Parenthood of Metropolitan New Jersey. Uh, according to them, the youth are at the forefront of countless progressive movements aimed at creating a better future for themselves and their communities. And this year at Planned Parenthood, um, the Teen Life Conference, we are focusing on providing education, resources, and tools to empower high school students in becoming young activists. This half-day conference on December 11th um, will provide teens with the opportunity to learn about the social and health justice issues that are impacting them and how to be part of a positive change. Um, and as you can see, Zeli Imani, writer, educator, and activist, will be uh, the keynote speaker. If you're interested, just look at the notes of the PDF of this PowerPoint and you'll get the link um, if you're interested. 
Also, um, you may have seen this in your driver's ed classes or health classes, um, but basically the Brain Injury Association is launching a Just Drive PSA contest for New Jersey high schools. First prize is $15,000, second prize is $10,000, and third prize is $5,000. Um, high schools will be able to um, uh, do this as a great opportunity for you. Um, and even we as a high school can win 25 grand if you uh, win. So I hope you win. Uh, if you're interested, again, there's a link that you can um, click on to be part of it. Okay, in addition to that, we're gonna talk now about some student achievements and that's gonna be in the world of sports. So we asked your coaches to let us know of any accolades um, that our students have received. And so far we've received information from our boys soccer, boys football and girls cross country. Hopefully we'll hear more um, for next week. So boys soccer, just so you know, they were the colonial division champions. Um, and you can see here that Ben, Jeff, uh, Charlie, Robbie and Christian received some mentioned here um, in their division. Uh, so good congratulations. Uh, to coach Muirhead and his soccer team. Football, um, we have, um, again, some of our football players, Steven, Justin, Zamar, Michael, uh, Kai, Chris, and um, Chance, and Jaquiel um, are students who uh, did very well. Uh, coach Mobley was very proud of his uh, student athletes, and we congratulate them on their accomplishments. And then Kira, Kira won the Super Essex County Girls Cross Country Championship with a run in late November of 20 minutes and 16 seconds in Branch Park, uh, Newark, New Jersey. So congratulations, Kira. Congratulations to all of the sports accolades. We'll hear more about girls tennis next week um, and other sports as well. So again, we keep recommending a great way to stay engaged and connected is to join some of our clubs. You can click on that link up there to see what clubs are out there, but also some of the school support groups that we have uh, with our partners. So let's see what's out there. Oh, the Maplewood um, Public Library has a, a new program that we want to talk about. It's giving teens a voice. You can meet in the library virtually, um, Zoom, every Tuesday and Thursday uh, for the next three weeks. And we'll talk about really serious um, topics with your classmates. Um, it's beyond like a debate, but in, rea in reality, talking and engaging about serious issues, race relations, gender issues, um, activist issues. So if you're really interested in, in these kind of really cool meaty uh, topics, click on the star for the forms or right to the right, you'll see the forms link and you can do that. Um, uh, they start already this week. So if you're interested, make sure you reach out to the Maplewood Library. The Loft is a program that's right inside our building. Um, on December 10th, they have chalk and chat out in the parking lot, hot chocolate. Um, come in and talk to Ms. Evison. Um, Evison, excuse me, uh, email her um, if you're really interested in this opportunity. It'd be nice to come back to school. Here is a separate email that I sent you on Friday. We're going to have this thanks to our Board of Education, our superintendent. Uh, we, we now are able to bring back Hendrick Martin Institute. It's a great time and opportunity to talk about healthy, uh, healthy relationships, um, to talk about or understand more about sexual gender identities. Um, they're an incredible organization and they'll be here with us every Monday at lunch. So if you're interested, all you have to do is email Vince Nicosia at hminj.org. Just pause this right now and you can see uh, how to email him for that information. Club meetings in the next two weeks. I know we have Spectrum meeting tomorrow, which is Monday um, in school. All are welcome. You can see there the uh, Zoom meeting link and there's a Mac interest meeting on December 17th. So make sure you're available for that as well. 
At this time, I would like to uh, congratulate a couple students who are out there uh, using this time for service projects, and I hope that you will also support them by helping them out. So first, let's look at the MAPSO CARES and Cougar CARES uh, programs. They're hosting a cleaning supplies drive now until December 18th. They're helping collect COVID supplies for families in the South Orange Maplewood School District. They are currently have two homes, locations for drop-offs and a drop-off location at number 165 in Maplewood. Uh, again, you can find the, the um, link to the flyer um, in the notes section here and be able to find out where those homes are, but you can see they are collecting all COVID supplies. And then of course there's the hoodie drive is still collecting, so please donate. You could get, you could drop off your hoodies at uh, the pizzeria down the block here. Um, and we would love for you to help out to help homeless teens um, and young adults uh, by collecting hoodies in the winter. Also, we have a, um, for merchandise, we have two places to get some. Of course, there's the Midnight Madness Cougar Shop. All right, that's gonna help our seniors out. So please go there to chscougarshop.com but in addition, the seniors have a uh, fundraiser, a much a merch fundraiser, and you can go to uh, help them as well. It's open from um, uh, November 23rd to December 2nd. Oh, so it may have just closed, but give it a check just in case. See if they have stuff up there still. And then uh, finally, last but not least, don't forget that every day, you, everybody can get a free lunch. Uh, by just coming to the high school right outside um, by the cafeteria. We'll get you uh, today's lunch and tomorrow's breakfast. So that's awesome. 12.15 from 2.45 every single day. I look forward to talking more about alumni next week. Some more sports update. Hopefully we'll have um, a Cougars cable news uh, show as well. Uh, but just remember the two things for this week. Um, you know, you have a uh, asynchronous day on Tuesday. So make sure if you need to reach out for your teacher um, to see if you can get some extra help in the morning. And then always, all day, every day this week, plan for Spirit Week. Thanks, Student Council. And thanks all of you Cougars. And have a great week.